Hi everyone, Pot ISM. Welcome to another Act Adventure update. I've got James with me today. You keeping okay, mate? Yeah? Having a good yeah. morning? Yeah. Yeah? Now, something we didn't do was my Christmas bench update with James. He's been on every one for about the last four years, and for some reason this year we forgot, didn't we? I don't know how, but we did, didn't we? We're silly, aren't we? So, he's here today for a couple of minutes on the intro, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Because, what have you got in... 20 minutes, what are you going to do? Zoom. You got to, he's got a Zoom school call, haven't you? Yeah. Because he's being homeschooled, because obviously everyone's off in the UK, aren't we? And Mummy's doing a great job, isn't she, homeschooling? And Porgy's there too. <laughs> His little Porg's there Hello. as well. Hello. There you go. Um, so yeah, we're, we're coping well though, aren't we? Yeah. Mummy's doing a good job, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah? Daddy stays out here, out the way. James does the Zoom calls in the house. Yep. I do my Zoom calls in here, yep. don't we? Yep. And you do your homework, mm -hmm. and then we come in the afternoon, you go on your Switch, yep. or your iPad, or, or the Xbox, that's right, and uh, he's coping well, he's doing very, very well, because we don't know how long you're going to be off for, do we? No. We're not sure yet, I think it'll be a while, but we'll see. So I thought I'd get him on today, he can sit, have a little chat with us, then can go and do your Zoom call, can't you buddy? There we are. So I've got a little bit to chat about at the beginning and I've got a bit more I'm going to chat about when he's gone back in the house. So, busy old week. we got the BMW done at last. Uh, the video bill for that's done. You saw me sell for BMW, didn't you? Yeah. Did you like it? Was it rubbish? No. No? Was it good? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, and we moved on to the next project as well, which we'll chat about in a minute. Loads of future projects uh, coming up. Um, for our group builds, which are all planned out over on the group build page, which is linked down below. Um, it's a German one after the rally car one, uh, and I think I've got my plan, planned build ready for that one too, and a colour. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to take part, all the, the links down below take you over there, and there's a full list of all the dates and when they're taking part from and starting and ending, and what the subjects are, so you can go over there and have a look. And come join us should you wish. It's as simple as that. I've got tons of video builds planned throughout the year. Loads of them. Um, I think for the German one I'm going to do my BMW A50. Uh, I've got an F1 that we're going to do the Lotus Martini. Which I want to video build as well. I'm going to try and video build as much as possible this year. That is my plan. Um, whether it be every build I don't know. Because it takes steady a while video building doesn't it? you got loads of kits haven't you to build? got loads of kits I have. I think I've got too many? Yeah, mm. what should we do with them all? Sell some. Sell some? And do what? Let other people get them. Let other people get them? That's very generous of you. <laughs> what are we going to do with the money? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> what would you buy with all the money? I don't know. More pogs? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, it's uh, a busy planned year ahead. And I've also got the 12 scale scar down, which I'm trying to shoehorn in somewhere. And still be able to take part in group builds. So I don't know what's going to go on there. Whether we use a bit of executive power to manipulate the uh, calendar a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, loads of builds to do. Um, not enough time, really. So much I want to build and crack on with. But again, try and stick to the group build schedule. And try and video build as much as I can, like I say. So hopefully, all being well, uh, we'll have some interesting group builds. And video builds of all different subjects throughout the year. And uh, yeah, keep all entertained. Appreciate everyone's been following the builds, leaving the feedback as always. It is fantastic. Uh, I do appreciate all the comments. I've got hundreds to go back and reply to. It's my job, hopefully, later this afternoon. Um, so yeah, we'll crack on with that. Right then, you're going to go back in? Yeah? Should we go get mummy? You can go do your Zoom call. Mummy's sending emails over left, right, and centre there. Can you hear them going off? That's your schoolwork coming through. Yeah? So you're going to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Say bye. Smell you later. Bye. They're up there. Look. That bye. Candle. <laughs> bye. There we go. There we are then. He's gone back in. He's uh, he's off to do his homeschool for the day. Uh, driving Hannah up the wall probably. Uh, but Hannah's doing a great job. Uh, I think we are coping quite well under lockdown. Not too bad. So one thing I want to talk about. And that's why I didn't talk about in front of James. Um, it's something we're talking about on Sunday. And Luke Cars or Black Rifle Model Works um, has done a video on it um, covering mental health. We were in a good chat about it on our Sunday live feed. And today 
um, is Blue Monday, which is um, the worst day of the year uh, for those that deal with depression or any issues like that, because apparently it's three weeks into January, people are broke, it's always away in January, uh, New Year's resolutions have been broken, um, things like that, and depression set in, and statistically it's a bad time of year, and it's funny that we're talking about yesterday, and today is Blue Monday, so as Luke said, you know, depression on the whole, and again, I'm not going to make it about me, um, it, it's a horrible thing to deal with, I don't really deal with depression, I deal with anxiety more than anything, but then they can go hand in hand, um, the hobby we've got here is a brilliant distraction, and that's what we were talking about yesterday. For me, the distraction is what it's all about. Uh, I need to keep my mind busy with either making the videos, chatting to you a lot on Facebook, modeling, chatting to the guys in the Hangout, making the videos, editing the videos, uploading them, my aquarium, my family, um, anything and everything I can use to distract my mind for an hour a day um, is a worthy thing. So this hobby is ideal for it. And I know for a fact that a lot of people who join us now off our Zoom calls and in the live show field, feed suffer with um, some kind of mental illness. So the same with Luke. If you're ever struggling or you haven't need a voice, uh, sorry, uh, someone to hear you, to have a chat to, just message myself or one of the guys off the live show. We'll always have a chat with you. I get messages all through the day and I always try and answer people back. So I've got no issue being messaged at all. Um, Luke's done a great video on it. We go over to his channel and have a look. Um, and as we were saying today, it's something that has only just become socially... What's the right word? Aware? Acceptable? No. I think it's aware, isn't it, the word I'm looking for. People starting to understand mental health because for a lot of the time... When I started suffering back in about 2005, I had people laugh at me um, talking about it. So it kind of made you withdraw in and keep it to yourself. I think that's one of the worst things you can do. Um, they say a problem shared is a problem halved, and I think that is quite true in a lot of situations, um, which is why I like the group, all the guys I hang out with. We're all similar. <laughs> I can't say the word on the video. We are all a bunch of absolute... See you next Tuesdays. Um, and we deal with things with a bit of dark humour. It, it, it's coping mechanisms. Um, it's one of those things. But don't suffer alone. I know we've been in lockdown. Things have got a lot difficult. As Luke said, it's been a horrendous year. 2020 is a year that a lot of people are going to remember for the wrong reasons. Um, and this year is going to not look into me a whole lot better, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to lie, with what's going on around the world, I'm not going to mention the word because YouTube doesn't like it. Um, it's a scary place at the minute. Uh, I'm terrified of catching this. Absolutely terrified for me, my family, my friends, um, and just members of ISM as well. You know, I don't want to hear that we've we've lost somebody or someone seriously ill. Poor Dan's had it. Um, Alan had it. My friend Size had it. Um, it's getting to the point where you didn't know anyone who had it to knowing several people now so you can see the numbers are going up I don't make this all doom and gloom I'm just trying to make a point that a lot of us are shut in at the minute and unless you're lucky to have a hobby like this or a way of outreaching people or family um, it's going to be a lonely time for a lot of people so if you know someone who's on their own or is struggling just send them a message make sure they're okay drop them a line um, you know try, try and give them a bit of a an outreach, a bit of a reach out to them, um, and just show a little bit of support for them. And you know, this isn't the time to be going online now and venting your frustration on others, which I'm seeing a lot of. Not necessarily on modeling groups, so there is quite a bit of arseness on the groups, there always is. For every 10 people, um, there's another couple that are, yeah, shouldn't be in the hobby. But I'm seeing a lot of groups which just bickering and fighting, and this isn't the time to be taking it out on each other. Um, so yeah, don't, don't pass your problems on to others, but you know, certainly talk to others about them. That's my opinion on it. So, there's many different views on this, and some people don't want to talk about it. I'll always talk about it openly. Um, I've got way past that stigma of keeping it to myself. Uh, and like I say, if we can talk about it amongst ourselves, and you know, it puts somebody else at ease, or 
they you know they feel a bit more at home thinking you know somebody else understands then that's a good thing so like i say if you know somebody or if you are somebody reach out just reach out and talk to somebody don't suffer in silence um at all because it's a hard time at the minute it's a terrifying world not not just for what's going on worldwide just <laughs> things just in your own country the world's mad at the minute absolutely crazy mad um there's so much uncertainty out there that that you know that can breed fear scaremongering what have you so it yeah we don't want to all be doom and gloom so that's why we're trying to do the live shows twice a week through the mornings we did do them every week last year every day last year but it just eats into my modeling and the videos and i'm trying to get the videos out there more for people to watch as well um that is my goal at the minute and to keep me busy too so yeah that's it so like i say go check out luke's video check out sunday's live stream and if you are struggling at all reach out if you don't want to speak to somebody you know there's numbers out there samaritans and whatever you can call um get some help certainly get some help don't suffer in silence at all and enjoy your hobby enjoy your hobby even if you just sat there perusing ebay looking for kits that distracts me or buying dozens of watches that distracts me. You see what I mean? I, that, they're my coping mechanisms. Looking for things and searching and setting goals. It, it's a good, it's a good thing. Although well, Hannah wouldn't agree, really, because we've got all this crap and stuff in the house. But anyway, that's by the by. Right. So enough of that. Let's move on to something uh, a bit different. What should we talk about now? Let's have a look at my uh, BMW that we finished recently in the video build. So I've got some pictures. And I got a little bit of video footage as well, I think. The video doesn't appear. It wasn't very good because I haven't filmed it yet. And we're just going to look at the pictures. So we did this as part of a four-part video build series you can watch on the channel. It's doing very well. Uh, the first videos had like 70 to 80% more views than normal. So it's obviously a subject people like. It's good to see. Um, the little venerable 1987 Tamiya kit. A wonderful kit. Um... The only issues on this kit were a few marks on the glass, uh, which you can barely see, to be honest, and not too bad at all. So we primed this in UMP Black Primer. It was base coated in Zero Paint Polaris Silver, which, shockingly, had nice fine pigments in it and went down absolutely perfect. Probably the finest pigmented paint I've seen from Zero, so hopefully that's a step forward and a positive and not a negative of plagues being too big and it melting your model. Um, we clear coated it in Gravity Spain 2K clear coat. Uh, we did the interior in Zero Paint Bordeaux Red. Uh, we embossed the carpets uh, using embossing powder, slightly different tone to the red we did on the interior. And I think the two tone effect came out pretty well. Um, the other exterior parts on the car were painted in like semi gloss black. We did the shadow line version. Um, BMW added a chrome delete on all of their cars back in the 80s. And they call it the shadow line. So we did it on this. I think it looks a lot better because it's silver on chrome with black. And I think the black looks better all by itself. Engine was painted up. Lovely six cylinder engine on this. Um, really, really nice actually. Painted up with various LP colours. I'm starting to move over to LP paints from metallics now. They dry a lot quicker than the AK Extremes. So I think it's something I'll definitely be um, putting into effect. I just need to get my core colours now. I have about half a dozen core AK colours I use for steel and aluminium and matte aluminium. I just need to get my colours nailed down so I've got them there ready to go all the time. Wheels, scale production, 18 inch Alpina rims look fantastic. They were painted I think in LP48 silver and we lowered the suspension on the car by using the motorsport version of this kit suspension and Trevor who very kindly saw me my request for the parts sent me some extra suspension to put them back into my motorsport kit for a later date. So very, very kind of you, Trevor. Thank you, buddy. Um, very, very happy for you to do that. Cheers, mate. It does mean a lot. So, yeah, overall, great kit. Fantastic car. I love the 6 Series. I love most BMWs. I've got a real soft spot for them. Um, and I'd love to own one of these. These and an E30 M3, I'd love to own. Um, so, yeah. There we go. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them in the chat down below and I will try and answer them as we go. Right then, let's go overhead and let's have a look at what we've picked for our next video build, which I said we're going to discuss today. Right then, so what do we start? Uh, well, we started the Hasegawa Lancer 037 
Graffone. Graffone? Graffon. Graffon? Graffoni? Graffoni. Don't know, whatever it is. Uh, we started this part of our rally GB over on Addison and Facebook. And this is also going to be my next video build as well. So the phone's already started. We've already started the kit. Great kit. I built this before. I built the Martini one. Um, this one comes with very, very nice cartograph decals. So nice to do some decaling again. We've not done it for ages and ages and ages. So that's nice to get to. We've also got the uh, Studio 27 Photo Etch set. As you can see here, which is quite a nice comprehensive detailed upset to be honest. There you go, got some nice stencils for the tyres and the grill. All the photo etch grills are there as well. Some real nice touches there, including PE window wipers, which we're going to give a go to as well. Now, that's the body. There's the front cover that comes off as standard on the kit. And that is the engine shell, which doesn't come off as standard on the kit. But I cut it out yesterday under a little bit of peer pressure from Ronald. You know you're watching, Ronald. I know you're watching. Uh, no, he didn't. He just planted the seed. And I got thinking about it and thought, you know what? Let's cut it off. So we use a razor saw and a knife. It's a bit spread at the minute because the stand spreading out. It does actually fit well. What we do, we added these little bits of PE on the side there. Just literally slot in and hold it perfectly in place. Now, that's good. We've also got the light pod which we're going to do as well, and the side air scoops too. So bottom half needs, needs painting in yellow, as do the air scoops as well. So this was primed UMP white primer last night, so I'm going to take it back a bit today, and then we'll hit it with some paint later on. Now, the clamshell, the actual engine shell, it does come with P hinges, which are these things. See that? And they are made... And those bits at the top there and there but they need drilling and they're tiny and they look really fiddly so the way i'm thinking is i'll use the standard plastic ones that come with the kit and either cut them in half or put them on so they look like they're in place i don't know yet i'm playing it by ear <laughs> we'll see about this one because uh, they look an absolute nightmare to make it really does look an absolute pig to do so well, that's why we want to make the best of it as we can. I don't want to be here all week doing it. So I might have a go at making those and we'll see what they come out like. But we're going to film it all. People have been asking me to show PE done. So here we go. This is our situation too. So I've got some zero paint to spray today. I'm going to have to be especially careful because blues and yellows, for me, I've had trouble with them in the past. So that is my job today. So like I say, the first part of this should be up I reckon around Friday. I've got a base colour here. Um, I've got to decal it and then clear coat it and then we can do the first video uh, I think it's going to be a four-parter because it's a nice detailed engine in this If I grab the instructions quickly Like I said, I built it before As you can see It's a nice detailed chassis and engine and cockpit It is a really really nice kit from Hasegawa uh, It's just so expensive to buy and these instructions in places are really, really busy. So you've got to keep your wits about you to make sure you've got the right part and the right sequence. Plus having the aftermarket as well, it definitely adds another dimension to the kit. But that's it. That's where we're at with this. So like I say, hopefully by Friday, we'll have the first video done and up and we can crack on with this build. Here we are then, there's another bench update done. Um, some good work done. Happy with what I've done. Uh, first model of the year, the BMW. I think it took me, what's the date today? The 18th. So I think it took me three and a half weeks to do. So I'm happy with that. Because it's a video build. The video builds always take me a little longer because I always take a little bit more time doing stuff than if it's for myself. If it's for myself, if I've got a part that's black and it needs painting in several shades of black, I'll just leave it black um, for ease. If it's for a video build, I'll take the time to mask it and spray it properly. And I think I do a better job, which is why I'm trying to push the video builds a bit more. I want to I want to increase my uh, modelling, what's the word, game this year. <laughs> um, and try and do as good as I can because the exteriors, I love painting, decaling, clear coating. Love that part of the modelling. The wheels and all that. I'm not too keen on interiors. I kind of hate doing them. Don't mind the running gear as much. That was a New Year's resolution a few years back, and I carried on with that. Um, so, 
one of my New Year's resolutions this year, like I said last time, is to spend more time on the detailed parts rather than rushing the interior or the running gear to get the kit finished. Take a few extra days and start to get it to look a bit better. And I think that worked on this. The engine on this looks great. Um, and it look for a kit engine in a 34-year-old kit now, um, it came out really well. Very happy with that. So, yeah, that's it. So, there'll be a first part of the Lancia up, um, where I would say we're on Monday. We've got to paint it, decal it, clear it. I reckon Friday or Saturday next this week, we'll have the next part up. Um, yeah, now we chatted about the group builds. I said I'd have a definitive list. I haven't yet. I think I'm going to be cheeky, maybe manipulate our calendar a little bit. And move it around a bit to suit my own means. It sounds awful, but it's not because I wanted to tally up with the video builds because I'd like to video build everything, but I really want to build that 12 scale Nissan really soon. And the Japanese build is until the end of the year. And the homologation build, which it'd be eligible for, is April. And I already have a kit I want to build for that in my head. So I kind of need to move things around a touch. I gotta leave that there. <laughs> I need to chat with Alan and Simon and see if I can be cheeky. I guess it's the perk of the job, is I can move things around if I want. But um yeah, so that's what I'm probably gonna do. I really want to get to that 12 scale on this hand. We've got everything for it now. Everything. Um the paint colour I chose looks fantastic as well. So really looking forward to cracking on with that one. It's huge. I've got no idea where it's going. Although I have cleared out shelf space. So I've sold two of the built aircraft kits. I still have the Tempest 30 second scale to sell. And the 30 second scale Raiden. If anyone wants to borrow our build kits. Help me out. You can buy them. Um, they're on eBay. But message me if you want to know the prices. Um, the decent prices I think. And then we get a beautiful model. You'll clear it through my display case and put me back into the uh, the hobby for me to buy more stuff to make builds with. I've got a huge list of stuff I want on Hero Boy. Uh, I've got about 80 odd quid's worth of aftermarket bits and bobs and one for the cars. I've got tons of video builds I want to do. So yeah, you can help me out there. So yeah, hopefully that thing, the, the 12 scale car is huge. It'll fit in there. Um, but I'm just really looking forward to building this. So yeah. I think we're definitely going to manipulate that group build calendar a bit for my own purposes. It's wrong to do, but essentially I'm doing a few out there, so it's your fault at the end of the day. There we go then. There we go. I'm going to get that on a t-shirt. There we go then. And there we go. There we go then. That's us today then. Um, as always, make sure you sub to the channel. Uh, click the bell notification. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. I do read every single one. They come through instantly on my phone. Uh, and I'm going to take the time later to reply to you all. Uh, make sure you go check out Luke's video we were talking about Black Rifle Model Works with an X. Go over to Luke's channel, sub to him as well, and watch his video, and leave my comment as well, because, yeah, it's a good video Luke's done. It really is. Um, check out the Tesla Scale Model Facebook page and forum, upretail.com, where you can buy all your modeling stuff from, kits, tools, paints, anything and everything you can get from there. Uh, check out my Paul ISM Facebook page and Instagram page. Uh, and the live at the bench page for the live show, off their hangout group for the off their hangouts, which anyone's welcome to join. And of course, go check out the ISM GB group as well. This list is getting longer all the time. All the links for these are in the description down below. And if you watched it this far, what questions should we have today? What was your first car? There we go. Or of your bikes, what was your first bike? Or if you don't drive, what would have been your first car, do you think? In the era you would have passed your test of about 17 in the UK. Uh, my first car, sadly, was a Diarrhea Brown Austin Allegro. Yes, it was crap. My dad bought it for me for about 150 quid. But you know what? When you're 17, it beats getting the bus. That's all I'll say. And surprised how many people laughed at it, but still it's got a lift home in it. <laughs> it was an awful car, but it, it was not fast, it was terrible, so there's no way I was going to kill myself in it. Um, and yeah, I've got fond memories of that thing. So yeah, let me know in the chat what yours was, I'll be interested to see. 
So there we go. Thanks for watching today. I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Don't forget, if you ever need to chat, we chat and talk to somebody. They said touch somebody. Don't do that. You get arrested. Trust me. Um, but if you ever need to chat, just reach out and talk to somebody. Me, any of the guys in the RSM team, whatever. Friends, just professionals, anyone. Don't suffer in silence. We'll catch you all later. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.